People have been asking me to cover the basics in behavior advanced class animation, which I initially thought was going to be like a complete different alternate universe from the original fundamental paper education series. But after actually watching it, it seems like some of the characters here are OCs that are inspired by Katie's original animation mixed with some of like the OG characters. So as I go through the animation, I'll be pointing out and kind of naming the new characters while also kind of explaining what's actually going on in the animation. Now, just like in the original, it starts out with students heading to the school and we are introduced to this character named Margaret and she seems to kind of take the place of Claire in this animation. And I'll explain what I mean by that as we get kind of deeper into the animation because technically Claire is still here. And you'll see what I'm talking about like as we get to this next scene where we're in a school hallway and we see this board that has some of the original students names on there. Like right here we see Abby, we see Claire, a student named Johnny and Lana on the board and they all unfortunately have received a F in one class or another. And I think you all remember what that means. Now, when we get into the first classroom, we see mostly classic characters. Like in the front here, we see Ingle, we see Claire, we see Bubble, but we also have at least one new student here who is named Scotch. We also have this teddy bear looking character here whose name I actually wasn't able to find, but I'm pretty sure this person is new as well. We're also introduced to a new teacher here named Mr. Shapely, who is the astronomy teacher. And then we also see Miss Bloomy and another new teacher named Mr. Strontium who seems to be Miss Bloomy's assistant in her chemistry class. Now, after that scene, we see Claire, Margaret, and a new student named Marvin walking to their desk where they see a bunch of images calling them dumb and telling them to die for some reason. And of course, this freaks them out and also ticks them off a bit, understandably. And it seems like these bullies were actually this skibbity toilet TV person here named Ram. And then the two bullies behind him are actually Zip and Edward from the original animation. And next, we actually see that a little fight breaks out, which I personally loved. I really like when characters stand up to bullies instead of just trying to take the high road all the time. Sometimes you just gotta slap somebody in the face. Now in the next scene, it seems like this teacher named Mr. Hopkiss found some kind of picture of himself that makes him very angry to the point where he actually is starting to chase Scotch. And while that chase is happening, we see this teacher here, whose name I actually wasn't able to find. The only thing I was actually able to find on this character was on Edgy's Twitter that says FU TikTok memers. I assume people are making fun of him on TikTok, but I'm not really sure. The picture looks pretty cool though. And this kid right here that's cowering in the corner is named Robert. And it seems like he received a F. So I think it's safe to assume that he's basically about to get his head chopped off by those large scissors. We also see another teacher terrorizing this kid here, and this teacher is named Mr. Foxtrot. And I find this kind of funny because this guy is the dance teacher, and I wonder how this kid ended up failing dance class. That's almost as bad as like failing PE. Next, we see a scene very reminiscent to what actually happened in the original animation to Abby, with this young girl here actually getting her head bashed in and then devoured. And next we see this character here who is named Mr. Barrel. And he's supposed to be the school security guard. But honestly, with security like him, I would take my chances alone. But I suppose that he does look sad because he realizes that he's failed to actually help multiple children at this point, allowing them to fall victim to these crazy teachers. And I do find it super weird that we see him walking with Mr. Hopskiss in the very next scene, looking like super happy and calm, even though he just witnessed what he did to that little girl. And this character walking with them is named Mr. Brewmeyer, and I believe he's actually like the janitor instead of a regular teacher. We also see this teacher here named Bilal, who seems to be some type of politician, and they're talking to the elite brothers who act as like the safety guards for the school. And these are basically just the people who help kids get to and from school safely. And you may notice that the politician has a picture of some kid here, and it's hard to tell, but I think this might be a character named Lord Hansel, who you will see later in the animation, but I may be wrong on this one. It's really hard to tell because the picture is so small. Next, we have the pool scene, and this is where we're introduced to some new characters like this person with a crown named Basilis, who splashes into the water. And then we see this PE teacher named Mr. Eugene kind of put his hand up to keep students from getting wet. Then we see this interesting scene where Mr. Barrow and Mr. Hopskiss are looking at each other and blushing. And this is where it started to make sense as to why Mr. Barrow kind of sits back and allow Hopskiss to actually harm children. Even though it's kind of hard to tell at this point in the animation, when looking at the wiki, we learn that Barrow is actually like a ex-military soldier and a trained killer. 
So if he really wanted to stop Hoskins, he definitely could. But it seems like they have some type of relationship. I don't know if they're like an actual couple or if they're just really close. But for whatever reason, Mr. Barrow actually uses Hoskins as like a blood donor, meaning that he literally sucks his blood. And they seem to be very, very close for one reason or another. Now, after that, we're hit with a few more pool scenes showing a couple of new characters, one being this sharp named Muro. And then we see the swimming teacher who is named Miss Vargas. And I know it's kind of hard to tell what she is, but apparently she's supposed to be some type of like large sea snake. Honestly, I thought she was another shark. And then after the pool scene, we make our way over to the library where we see the librarian arguing with a character named Wilbur, who seems to be looking for his father. And he's asking for a book called the Necronomicon, which is also known as the Book of the Dead. And as the name implies, anyone who's actually holding this book can use it to summon powerful eldritch beasts, which may be why the librarian actually knocked the kid down the hole. Honestly, ain't nobody got time to be dealing with Cthulhu. Now, between scenes, we actually see this character here who's scratching the name Gretel into a tree. And I think that this character is also Lord Hansel, a character that at this point hasn't been formally introduced in the animation. But apparently from what I read, Mr. Barrow's nickname is Gretel, and he met this character named Hansel in the woods when they were both younger. And while it looked like the two of them would become good friends, they actually ended up having a falling out, even though Hansel seemed to be on Gretel's side. And while it's kind of hard to tell, it seems like Hansel may have a bit of an obsession with Mr. Barrow, but I'll speak about that more later. Now, when we get back into the library, we see that Wilbur has gone splat, showing again that the security at this school is definitely not top tier. And to further this point, Margaret also walks into the janitor attacking a kid and tries to save him by stabbing Mr. Brewmeyer with a pair of scissors, which seems to only piss him off. And of course, he begins to chase her down and she almost gets away until she runs into this little bird named Yada. And of course, he happens to belong to another teacher named Miss Hinata. And Hinata gets super mad when she actually sees Margaret step on her chicken. So she also starts to try to kill her as well. And I suppose all the noise also summoned Mr. Hoskiss because he also shows up only to get literally ran over by Margaret, which props to her for actually being able to get away for a little while. Now, after that scene, a hand pops out of the darkness and actually grabs Margaret while she's running. And it turns out to be Mr. Barrow. And I think he's trying to help her here, but he looks so creepy that the girl thinks that he's also trying to kill her. So she actually uses this cross to get away from him, showing that maybe he's either a demon or some type of vampire because he does seem to have like a really negative effect to the cross. Now, after that encounter, Margaret finds herself in a hallway that says do not enter. But at the end, there's a door that has a sign that says safe zone. And for some reason, she actually believes the sign. Now, I also want to point out here that here on the wall, it actually says, where's Gretel? Again, showing that Hansel may be a bit obsessed with that character. Now, when Margaret opens the door, she's met with this character that looks a lot like a dryad. If you are into like fantasy or fantasy games at all, you probably recognize these type of creatures. And when looking at Hansel, if we're being honest, he actually looks pretty friendly initially, but he changes very quickly having a darker version of himself, kind of like Alice does. But luckily, before Hansel can actually strike her down, Barrow flies in and swoops her up and starts shooting at the monster. And at this point, it finally makes sense as to why he's called Mr. Barrow. This man literally has a gun for her arm like he's buried from Final Fantasy VII. Now, unfortunately, Hansel is actually able to block all the bullets and he's able to use his power to control nature to not only easily take out Mr. Barrow, but also take out a bunch of the kids while also damaging the school pretty good as well. Now, the good news is that we see that most people were able to survive mostly unharmed, but Mr. Barrow seems traumatized by what just happened. I think it has more to do with the message that Hansel left behind for him and not so much about the girl that he couldn't save, because let's be honest, he hasn't saved a single kid in his whole animation. Now, at the end of the animation, we see Basilis was actually the person that put the sign on the door, and he's the reason that Margaret actually ends up being killed. And funny enough, while I'm actually making this video, another video just dropped that's the aftermath video and it basically shows what happened after like all this drama so it basically shows everyone kind of consoling each other and something that i find kind of funny is that mr hopskiss is trying to make barrel feel better as if he wasn't also eating children a minute ago but i guess in a way it's the thought that counts i guess they are like very close friends 
We also see that some people are trying to put the school back together, while other people like this school nurse here named Miss Barra are just happy that they're going to be making some money off all these injured people. But the most interesting part for me is when we see Oliver and Alice walking through the hallways, making their way towards Hamsel's door. And then we see this scene. Alice basically threatens to kill Hansel if he doesn't leave the area. But something that I noticed is that Hansel doesn't actually seem to be afraid of Alice. And I think that means that they are either about the same strength or that Hansel might even be a little bit more powerful than she is. The other option is that he's just so obsessed with Mr. Barrel that he doesn't care that he's in danger. As we actually saw in the clip, he even says, my best friend is here. When we all know that Mr. Barrel does not feel the same way about Hansel. So to sum up this animation, it seems that Mr. Barrow is a ex-military soldier that ended up becoming a school security officer and is tasked with keeping the school safe and also the children. A person from his past named Hansel basically became obsessed with him and infiltrated the school so that he could remain close to him. But just like with Alice, if people enter his domain, he will brutally dispatch them and anybody that gets in the way of that. And it seems that like in terms of power, he's at least on par with Alice and could possibly even be stronger. Now, I know that there's also a comic that goes along with this animation. So if you want me to actually look into that, make a video on it, let me know down in the comments. Check out this video on the screen next and we will see you tomorrow with another one. Peace, peace.